What's up, mountain bikers and enduro bikes lovers? Hey, D Tidwell here, coach of the Yeti Fox Factory Race Team, owner of Enduro MTB Training, uh, here on second Monday for the recovery from the weekend series. Uh, last week we addressed hip flexor, which is a really good one, and I hope you guys are uh, staying after that. Remember, by the way, all these tips are not just for mountain bikers, but all cyclists and all other athletes, really. Uh, you weekenders for sure. Um, today, let's get into kind of the opposite side, which is the glute, the deep glute or the glute max specifically. Uh, we spend a lot of time in flexion, especially as cyclists, mountain bikers, um, hikers even going uphill, for example, skiers, snowboarders this time of year. So um, when you spend a lot of time uh, in flexion using the pelvis and those glutes, um, they need to be stretched. Now, I say even more so because most of you who are watching this sit at a workstation every day, five days a week, for many, many hours. And so what that does is actually creates dysfunction through the operating pelvic girdle uh, and makes those glutes not a J-Lo booty, but instead a weak, flaccid thing that you don't like as much as you'd love to. So one thing I do is make J-Lo booties. We make them nice and round and very functional so that they can do what they need to do as it relates to making you uh, be able to perform your athletic endeavors better. But for now, let's stretch them. Um, and one way to do that, because there are many, but this is one way that's really good. So what I want you to do is lay on your back. Now, on this, you have to keep your tailbone on the floor the whole time, because we've all seen this stretch. We've probably done it a lot. But if you watch my tailbone, typically, they're way up in the air. I can get my fist under here almost. Okay, so you can see how far I can get it up. It changes it tremendously when you keep that tailbone to the floor and look at my range of motion. So now I've changed my leverage specific to hitting that glute max. So I'm basically pushing my tailbone down. I'm not arching my back though, because you can do it that way too. I don't want that. Keep your tailbone down. Now pull the left knee, which I have my hands behind, towards me while keeping my tailbone down and see and feel the difference. The other thing I want to do is put your fascia on stretch a little bit by externally rotating your feet, which top leg, toes go away, bottom leg, toes go out, okay, for both sides. So what I can do on this is just hold for 30 seconds, actively pushing my tailbone to the ground, keeping a neutral spine, and you'll notice a big, huge change and that deep fiber of the glute max being hit. Okay, so 30 seconds, then we switch, we do the same thing, same parameters, <clears throat> keeping that tailbone down, and also making sure that you're equal side to side, right to left side, on that tailbone as well, okay? Now, <laughs> general stretching rule, make sure that you do your tight side more than your non-tight side. So I would go, in my case, left, right, left. I would do my left twice, because we want to look for symmetry. So give that one a try, and hopefully remember at the end of this six weeks for this Monday series, you'll have six great specifically targeted exercises or stretches to help you feel better after that active weekend of yours. So um, give that one a try, give last week's a try, and uh, we'll talk to you in seven days. You guys have a great one. And uh, of course, if you have any questions, info at enduromtbtraining.com. And then uh, you got the link down there to uh, just directly buy our six month training program, which is awesome for all sports and all athletes. Uh, remember, not just enduro, mountain bike riders. Uh, it's very thorough and comprehensive. So give it a shout, uh, check it out. Till then, see you guys next time. Take care.